everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and welcome to day two of Christmas with the eCraft. Today we're going to be working with the software a little bit and you'll see that I have the software open. I am working on a laptop widescreen monitor and if you notice here on the virtual cutting grid that these squares aren't square, they're actually rectangles. So I'm going to be making an adjustment here to my screen so that I can size things up a little bit better. And all that I did there is I just kind of uh, minimized the screen and I'm bringing in the sides here and you'll notice that now everything is a little bit more square. It's probably not perfect but it at least gives us a better idea of what we're looking at. And what we're going to do today is we're going to be taking some images that are off the Craftwell SD cards to create new images or new things that can be cut. And I'm going to click on the My Library button and go to the Image Cards. Now you have to own the image card in order to be able to cut from it or design with it. So um, I'm going to select one of the cards here that I own which is the Jen Allison uh, Celebrates card and we're going to go to the winter holiday category and I'm going to select this candy cane image and put that on my mat. Now I'm going to kind of make this larger here and this is one of the things that I hope changes uh, when they do an update to the software is that they give us the option of locking proportion here. Oh and it looks like I actually ended up putting two of these on my mat so that's okay I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one here. There we go. So since I can't lock the proportions in, I kind of have to um, just kind of eyeball it and I do want this fairly large. Uh, that looks good there. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the overlay image and add that onto my mat as well. And I am going to go back to my original image here and I've got my width at 3.29 and my height at 4.39 so first I'm going to do the width at 3.29 and this is one of the things that would make it really a lot easier if they kind of um, locked in these proportions is for adjusting these layers so that we can get everything sized just right. And I need 4.39. There we go. And I'm just going to lay this on top to see. And it seems like it's a little bit big, so I'm going to just adjust it here. It's hard to tell though since I'm not sure if some of this is from my cutting mat or I'm going to leave it like there because we can always cut off the ex the excess with our X-Acto knife after we've got this cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this over here. Now with this main image, what I'm going to do, this is the background, is I'm going to turn this into a tag. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Fundamentals 1 image card and select our shapes and I'm just going to add a circle onto the mat here and I'm going to size this down to probably about um, well, let's say like uh, 0.41 or circle, 0.40 circle, there we go and now I'm going to move this and place it like so. You know, actually, I think I'm going to make this circle bigger. I think I'm going to do like yeah, 0 0.6. That would be better. Since this is a larger tag, I kind of want to put a, a thicker ribbon through it. So I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to kind of place it so that it's overlapping this candy cane. And now I'm going to check mark this weld button. And then go to the candy cane image and check mark weld there as well. And now I'm going to go back into my library and put another circle on the mat. And we're going to go ahead and size this down 
to probably about that point four that we were looking at before. I will make it point. I really wish that they would lock proportions because it would make this a lot easier to do this. That's probably pretty good there. And I'm going to place that circle right over the first one. And I'm probably going to move that down just a little bit. And now on this one, I'm not going to hit the weld button. Um, the reason for that is, is if I hit the weld button, then I'm just going to have one big circle here. And I actually want this circle to cut out of the first one so that I can thread a ribbon through it. So let me just adjust this a little bit more because I'm not liking the placement of it too much. Let me use the nudge features here and just kind of, which is a great thing to have for when you want, there, that looks really good there. I like that. So now I'm going to go to the preview and you can see here that I have created a tag out of this feature. Uh -oh.